Well, gang, it seems like we got another mystery at our hands. What's going on, Toxic Gamers and Call of Duty Refugees? The homie 8Pots, Ghost of Aid, is claiming that his channel can be shut down because of Activision. You got the homie Blame Truth getting involved, and he's saying that Nero Cinema's channel can be shut down by Activision as well. What the hell is going on in Call of Duty right now? And the situation is definitely wild, because it seems like that if you're not on the Diddy list, aka the white list by Activision, right? Yeah. It seems like if you're not on the Diddy list, your channel can be shut down. We all saw what happened with Swag. He was uh, put in a shadow ban lobby, and then he called Activision, asked to be on the Diddy list. They put him on the Diddy list, and then he his accounts was apparently good after the fact. Thank you all for liking and subscribing. Let's go for 500 likes on the video, guys. Helps out a ton, and this one is definitely an important one to say the least. Shout out to the homie Ghost of Aid. And I got another clip that I want to share with you. Roll it, wait for it. Stated negative about the franchise and the community and the developers. And Activision is going around and false copyright striking videos and taking them down and having them removed from YouTube under oh, false pretenses, which is actually illegal. But unfortunately, because Activision and Blizzard is a billion dollar corporations, mm. my recourse is kind of limited at this point. And there's not a whole lot I can do but just sit here and hope that Activision decides to not totally take my channel down. But now, usually they take down videos if you show leaks, right? Which is okay, well, that's uh, understandable. But I don't think the homie Ghost of it showed any leaks, or maybe he did. Uh, but, but let's continue. Let's see. But I have had two copyright strikes, false copyright strikes, on videos in the last six months. The first one mm -hmm. I had was about Modern Warfare 3 Season 2 or whatnot, and it was just a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. There is nothing that is copyright strikeable. There is nothing that was wrong with the video. It was me being critical of Season 2 of Modern Warfare 3, and they removed it and struck it down. Now, mm -hmm. since then, that strike has expired. But most recently, about a month or got two another ago, one, huh? I got another copyright strike. From so it, it remains true. If you're not sucking their BBCs, they, 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 yeah, they don't like you. You gotta constantly be sucking their D, right? In other words, of course, I'm adding that for entertainment value and whatnot. But like, on a real though, you really gotta be sucking their D. Uh, otherwise, bro, they're gonna ban you. They're they're gonna blacklist you. They're gonna they're gonna remove you from the Diddy list, which is actually a good thing. So you know what I'm saying? You don't wanna be on the Diddy list, absolutely, right? I'm talking about the white list for Activision, uh, but that's like the <laughs> the meme term that people are giving it. But it's it's insane, right? Because I remember when Charlie until started to be. I wouldn't say negative, but when he started to be a little bit critical back uh, just like a couple of months ago when he was being a little bit critical about Call of Duty and putting out some uh, questionable, he was questioning Activision and Call of Duty, right? They apparently uh, stopped inviting him out. And then he started sucking their D, started sucking their BBCs and all that. And now he's all, always getting invited up by Activision. So, yay! You know what I'm saying? So it remains true. It remains true. It remains true. Activision about a video exposing the hackers and cheaters in Modern Warfare 3. And that video well, about hey. a video exposing the hackers and cheaters in Modern Warfare 3. And that video Ooh, was, damn. like I said, taken down and removed from Activision and Blizzard themselves. The corporation was Activision Blizzard. That was their contact information they gave me. And the video was removed for copyright purposes. And on that video, it was nothing more than just a simple Call of Duty gameplay video talking about the cheaters and hackers in Modern Warfare 3. And none of these videos I've uploaded have any copyright material that isn't supposed to be shown. It isn't early gameplay for Black Ops 6 okay. or any other Call of Duty. Or Black Ops 7, I guess, and now, right? Because uh, Black Ops 6 is already out. So if you show Black Ops 7 early gameplay, that kind of makes sense, right? Kind of makes sense. But it is absolutely is a little suspect right now it says based off of this thumbnail right it says that content found is like the video links now if you did not know for example let me actually use this easy example when gta 6 gameplay got leaked out uh they did strike a lot of videos but not all of them and right now gta 6 gameplay is available on youtube all over right you can watch it uh, they're not necessarily taken down. I guess it's because it's old gameplay and they took down so many videos They probably got tired. Let's be real because everybody just re-uploads it re-uploads it re-uploads it, right? But general rule here is that you don't want to show leak gameplay of any kind any game in, a, in your video, right? Sadly, I wish it was the other way around, but this is how the mafia works, okay? You can talk about it, but and you can cover it as news, but you cannot show it. Okay, makes sense. Now, this is something that not many people know, is that you, you are not allowed to link to the leaked gameplay either. You can be striked for that too. 
uh, the reason I'm bringing it up is because I heard about it, and even I was striked in the past for linking to gameplays as well. So this is why, like, I, I know it's it it'd be what it'd be, but like, guys, like this is how it works, right? If you want to cover, for example, if GTA 6 leaks again, surely everybody's gonna make a video about it. Some are gonna show, but their video's gonna get taken down. Others not gonna show, but they're gonna link to it. Still can be taken down, right? And if you're aware, I guess if you're watching this, if you're if you're a YouTuber yourself, you're an up and coming YouTuber, you want to be YouTuber, or it, this is something that you wanted to know. Well, this pro probably gonna be news to you. Yeah, you or you are not allowed to link it either. Oh shit! Oh, shit. I guess you can link it in the pinned comment. I don't know, man. Maybe they're also gonna come and get you for that too in the future. But for now, it works. You can put it in the pinned comment or in the comments, right? But in the in the description, you cannot. Now he claims that he was covering the cheaters videos uh, or cheaters. I don't think like he would have linked to any like software or anything like that. If you're watching, let me know if you had any sort of those links. Uh, I'm assuming not. I'm assuming not. I don't think he would. Um, I, I don't think he would but but just uh, to j just an observation just an observation Let's uh, let's continue and wait for the second video too, guys wait for it There is nothing wrong with these videos and every single copyright strike that Activision has put on my channel is actually illegal They are breaking the law because they are false copyright striking my channel for no reason other than the fact that they are butthurt and angry at my negative and critical content that mm. I make about mm. Call of Duty mm. Activision mm. themselves mm. the Bobby Kotick the CEO and the community Listen, man, Activision, if you're watching, bro, I have been saying this for a while that I've been enjoying Black Ops 6, and I for real have been enjoying it, man. I for real, I think it's better than Concord and Desmore. Okay, but I genuinely believe that. I think it's better than Concord and Desmore. Like the video if you agree, man. Come on, man, you know it's better than Concord and Desmore. But I hope the homie can resolve it, though. I, I want to show you guys, like, the Blame Truth uh, and Nero Cinema drama in a second. Wait for it. I even reached out to the act man and other big youtubers. They tried to get help They tried to contact their people at YouTube to see if they could do something to rectify this and unfortunately because the copyright system in YouTube is a broken Junk mess totally mm. exploitable. Yeah, there's nothing really they can do I guess if I had a bunch of money and had access to legal teams I guess I could try to sue Activision, but that's not <laughs> happening because yeah. I don't I'm just a small-time youtuber and don't have a lot of money Unlike you know a billion dollar corporation like Activision who could kick my they ass in court burn. because again the day the justice system they, they can always burn their money absolutely for example even if you got millions of millions of dollars they got trillion i mean microsoft right you forgot microsoft activision billions microsoft trillions so dog like you know what i'm saying like it's it's gonna be rough so i i understand i totally get it but let's actually get down to the data of the homie blame truth and the nero cinema drama roll it Hey, I want to talk about this thing that happened to my buddy Nero and I, uh -oh. I did some digging and I, I found some examples on <laughs> Some stuff and I, I truly think he dodged a bullet and I hope he continues to dodge the bullet I, I think he dodged a nuke, but okay. Uh, what am I talking about first? I want to say that I'm not really like super Outgoing extroverted when it comes to co-mingling with my work colleagues in this instance fellow content creators of the call of duty variety Yeah, we can tell we can tell you uh, That's a fairly uh, I wasn't meant to talk about Bruh. that one, but it jumped out on the, the screen. So, hey, salute to Captain BBC right there. But we get it, Holmes. You love the helmet way too much, man. You love the helmet way too much. But now, on a real joke side, even I'm like that. I I don't, yeah, I, I'm, I'm introverted as well. So there you go. There you go, man. I'll be honest with you. I'll see the algorithm push out some video by like phase Jimmy Goulash 420 you hit the triple collateral or whatever and I'm like who in the hell is this and I check and they have like four million subs on YouTube and I'm like huh that's interesting I've never heard of them you know what I mean I honestly feel like an outsider looking in, in in a lot of these instances and I'm not sure if that's just my perception of it or if that's how it actually is but I've always felt like an outsider an outcast even when I was like uh, pioneering this back in the day in like 2008 or whatever I just never felt like Damn. A uh, part of the Call of Duty community, and I think a part of that is because I was the was the homie also like hating on Call of Duty all the way back in two thousand eight too, or or because <laughs> I remember man, ever since I feel like Black Ops Four, Modern Warfare nineteen, absolutely right. Oh hell yeah, he started raising hell around Modern Warfare nineteen, but I'm not sure about like Black Ops Four. I feel like that he hated that game too. Maybe not at the time, or maybe at the time, or maybe he uh, hated at the time, but then gone back and said that, yeah, it was very good, guys, it was very good, right? So uh, that's the homie blame shot for you, but okay, I mean, he has the right to hate it, though. Like, listen, guys, like, whoa, what are we talking about, man? Free speech, right? Come on, man. We all love free speech, but 
we don't like it when other people get free speech right that's kind of like the the conclusion i'm getting to so listen man if you like the game that's cool though even i'm enjoying the game i think it's better than concord and this morning uh but but he has the god-given right he has the right to hate on the game for whatever reason he chooses to okay <laughs> even if you disagree or agree he has the right to right, right let's continue man i've always uh spoke my mind and tried to give you guys my honest opinion as far back as modern warfare 2 2009 when activision fucked over infinity ward and the player base and half of infinity ward quit or got fired or whatever it was a oh, huge Daniel. lawsuit pretty much ever since then i've just not really been about this whole so all the way back in 2009 he started hating on oh, all of you oh damn okay i was not aware okay i was wrong so not in 2008 but 2009 got it got it boss got it thing you know like I i've just kind of observed from my perch and that's about it however a few people kind of sneak into my circle or whatever nero is one of them nero is a very nice dude i've known him since uh jesus probably 2017 on on twitch or whatever when he come and hang out in my streams and I've been a fan of his content ever since. Whenever a video of his pops up, I'm like, I, I watch it immediately. I, I never miss uh -huh. one. And I think it's Dang. because he's a lot like me in the sense that he's very honest. He's a little less critical than me and a little less outlandish. Less of a character. Uh, he's way less. Way less. <laughs> <laughs> way less, brother. Way less. You cannot say he's less. He is less. Even I agree with that. But he's way less. Okay? There's a difference between... The difference between less and way less, okay? Come on now, man. What are we talking about here, man? You're America's number one most toxic gamer, and that's cool, though. That's fine, though. We love it, man. We love the therapy, brother. We love the therapy. I love it, man. I love catching up on Call of Duty hate videos, too, man. But still the same deal, and I really appreciate that kind of outlook on things. Uh, anybody that kind of does that, I'm a big fan of. I like Drifter for the same reason. I think he's very um, uh, just honest with their opinions. It doesn't have to match my opinion. I just appreciate the honesty. But aside from that... Yeah, like Drifter kind of pieced out, man. I, I I remember like Drifter would be like a, a daily uploader, but now he's not. I believe it's because of like health issues. Hopefully the homie get well soon. But uh, yeah, he does not upload that much now, all right? Let me not stray too far from the topic here. Nero was recently contacted by Activision about there using go, one of his videos in one of their like promotional videos for Black Ops 6 or something. And the official Twitter account DM'd him, and he made some videos on this. I'm sure you guys saw him by now, but the official Call of Duty account DM'd him and asked basically for him to sign over the rights for them to use his video in their promotional material. And he made a video on this, and I said, and I quote, and I'm going to show my comments here, not even being a conspiracy theorist here, but I personally would not give them my full name and politely decline. And yes, it did ask for his full name, address, all this personal mm -hmm. info. They do some pretty outlandish, creepy stuff behind the scenes as far as keeping tabs on content creators go. I'll tell you all about it in a Discord call if you ever want to know more. I got copy- Yo, let, it, let, it, let everybody know, man. Damn. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, this seems like an Area 51 conspiracy, though. By the way, I have a second channel where we cover, like, aliens and conspiracy stuff, guys. If you're into it. Bruh. It's called Scary X. Scary? A-X-E. Okay, check it out. Links are always in the pinned comment in the- uh, in the description as always and also if you guys do have instagram if you have twitter i would definitely love to have you there links are in the pinned comment right, let's get back to the content here boo boo but let us know brother let spill the beans spill the beans copyright struck by activision a few months back and i could have fought it and got it removed but it involves sharing my personal info so i declined and wrote it out and this is all true by the way uh when i say pretty outlandish creepy stuff behind the scenes let me give you guys an example i partnered recently with sbmm off and again if you want a fantastic call of duty vpn you're on pc that will make the sbmm bearable you can use my code in the description the guy that runs that operation yeah! Whoa, 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 no, 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 man, no, damn, damn, shit. Then you're gonna end up on a Call of Shame video, bro. <laughs> then you're gonna end up on a Call of Shame video, man. What the hell? Nah, man, shit. Cause no duty, no duty. People mention all the time how there's Activision people in there. Activision people in there just kind of spying on everything and keeping tabs on everything yeah, with this yeah, VPN. Yeah, yeah. And I wish I were making that up. And I wish it didn't get worse, but it gets worse. Pretty much, there are teams at Activision that keep tabs on all the creators, keep detailed files on all of the creators. If any of the creators basically don't fall in line with their political beliefs or uh, their agenda or they're too negative, they don't invite them to events, they don't yeah. interact yeah, with yeah. them, yeah, yeah, they yeah. don't give them any sort of clout they they don't do any of that stuff they don't cross promote whatsoever i do trust the source that revealed this uh, and, and the, the prime example now this this is true this is this is absolutely true I, this is logical stuff i guess uh, anybody with a with a brain can tell right but this is true uh, those of you that might be questioning what he's saying this is true 
Prime example, me, I was invited back in Modern Warfare 19 because I was saying good things about the game. And I meant that when I said it because the leaks that were coming out about Modern Warfare 19 were good. Looking back, Modern Warfare 19 is a good game, minus obviously the map, bad map design, skill-based management. But at the time when the game came out, dog, like skill-based management, bad map design, and the crap, all that, that cheese that they had in that game made it very unenjoyable. Other than that, the game was still good, and I said that before, I'll say it again, right? And because I was talking about skill-based matchmaking, the bad map design, and all that stuff, they did not want to invite me out. And that's cool, though. I'm cool with that. But I'm bringing that up because uh, what he's saying is true. So I want to just add on that, uh, what he's saying. It, it is true, though. It is true, though. If you do not suck their BBCs, they're not going to invite you out. And that's cool, man. That's cool. I'd rather be invited out for me, uh, for who I am, than to be fake invited out if that makes sense you, you know what i'm saying like if they want to invite me out hey cool if they don't cool i'm cool with that right now i'm enjoying black ops 6 for what it is but uh skill based matchmaking and all that bull squash gotta go man it gotta go so to me it's not out of the ordinary for what activision is doing in uh, you know the sbmm off discord for example and again you can go and search that yourself but them reaching out to nero is very odd because i feel like nero is somebody like me where we're on the outside looking in he even mentions how it's super odd that activision's reaching out to him to do this and ask for this content because the videos were pretty negative that he was talking about i mean it's Yay. like half positive half negative mixed bad Yay. review and they're watching Yay. this video and wanting to use it for promotional material it's super strange considering mm. they've only ever reached mm. out to him once before to offer him cod points back in modern warfare 2019 or whatever so he made they they trying to bribe him with call of duty points imagine trying to bribe somebody with call of duty points now to be fair though jokes aside they were offering him like a battle pass a free battle pass <laughs> In a way, it's nice gesture. They're like, hey, here's some Call of Duty points. You buy, buy yourself that, that, that battle pass. I mean, in a way, it's kind of nice gesture. But but still, like, you know, like, you're a billion. You're a multi-billion dollar company. Now you have been bought out by Microsoft. So you are part of the trillion dollar, trillion dollar company. And you're just offering, like, 1,000 or however Call of Duty points they were offering. I'm assuming maybe 1,400 or whatever, maybe 2,000 or at best maybe 5,000 or 10,000 Call of Duty points, which I don't believe in. I'm assuming it's probably was like 100, 1,000 or 2,000 Call of Duty points max. Bro, like, bro, yeah. what the hell? Give the homie like a million dollars, man. Give me a million dollars, man. And anybody who likes, who drops a like on this video, I'll share that uh, money with you guys as well. You feel what I'm saying? Like the video for that, guys. Made this video asking his, his viewers if he should sign this contract or whatever. Whatever. So he made this video asking his, his viewers if he should sign this contract or whatever. What's going on? All that stuff. And someone says this. Holy shit, Nero. Did you actually read the terms? You grant them perpetual rights to your likeness, voice, etc. It says that it will be used for the BO6 social campaign only, but there is also a reference to sublicensing those rights with a clause, granting them rights to whatever they use, which leads me to believe a good Activision lawyer will basically figure out a way to monetize your channel for themselves. You also agree to no attribution of your video to you or your channel. I noticed that they also ask for your full name and address. I would tell them piss off. Actually, I would just ignore any communication from them. It it's suspect right now. To be honest, though, based off of my experience, yeah, they would ask for your address uh, and all that. That's like general stuff. That's normal stuff. Sounds creepy, I know, but that's how the mafia works. They're just trying to do this to protect themselves. But all this added cheese that this brother found, yeah, like it's a whole lot of Delulu stuff. Like, why are they asking it? They, they want to put the homie on a Diddy list, I think. They want to put him on a Diddy list, right? That's that's what's going on. And once you're on the list, you're on the list, man. man. I mean, you can technically take yourself out of it, too. But they're not going to invite you. But I guess in a way, that's a compliment, right? So, yeah, right? I, I don't know, man. It, it's suspect. It's suspect based off of what was found. But still, I believe it's because they want to foolproof themselves right so if for example one day nero does something that they don't like and they want to like metaphorically speaking shoot the homie down they can so they're uh, once again foolproofing themselves which is a little wild with terms that have been found in these uh, clever little claws right yeah and I, I definitely he should not sign that absolutely and if you actually read the document it does kind of say all that. I mean, maybe that guy is reaching. And if you read into this stuff too much and you don't trust the company, there's probably a bias there where you're like, oh, they're going to use this. To be fair, though, I know Activision has garnered very bad reputation uh, with that. But 
to be honest though, uh, for real, for real, I don't think they were gonna do anything what we think they might do. I, I know name and likeness, that's a little wild, but I think it's probably just for that social video alone that they requested. Basically, Nero made like review videos for Call of Duty, right? And they sent him a DM and they're like, hey, we like this video, we want to put in our one of the social campaign that we're running. But it, essentially, they're asking for his permission, but while asking for his permission, they're also like, hey, sign this, which is, under, I mean, for a company that's that huge makes sense because, for example, they don't want to get sued, right? So, because Nero can sue them, essentially, uh, if, if they use his video in a way where he don't want to so they're like full proofing and doing all that but since activision has a very bad reputation having these terms definitely uh make everybody go like a little crazy understandably though i'm not calling anybody out on this one uh i i agree with that understandably it makes uh people question and you should always question so to fuck me over in the future could they use it to fuck him over in the future absolutely will yeah, they yeah. probably not probably at least not. that's probably what i thought not. initially i'm thinking what well, well this is all just legal mumbo Initially, wow, let's jumbo. See. They're just trying to cover their ass in the event that Nero is not happy with how they used the content or whatever. But then I got to thinking, you know, and you can pause the video and read over this if you want, just to really see what's going on here. But I got to thinking, and I'm like, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, why would they even ask Nero for his permission with this? I mean, I sort of get it. Like, they, they want to ask, I guess, for goodwill purposes, maybe. I, I don't know, but he's not in the Activision circle. This is a negative video. And also, technically speaking, I'm pretty sure Activision already has this in some sort of agreement you already signed to play the game where they could just use anything that's their gameplay and your commentary over it anyway. In fact, they did that just recently, and they did not mm. ask this guy beforehand. And this is just an example but I'll, I'll show you more um where they did not ask the creator of the initial thing whatsoever and they just used it in the video game itself this guy on twitter says this my bo3 remaster for mob of the dead has been used as a loading screen in black ops 6 thank you treyarch now Yo. i saw this and i saw some creators like milo and syndicate congratulating this guy but they also asked if activision asked permission or even contacted him about this <laughs> look at what this guy has to say no uh, i have to ask did they ask for your permission for this Sean says they didn't, but they also didn't really have to. They own the rights to everything created yeah. within their tools, including this map. Okay, now this is very suspect, right? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's suspect. It is suspect. Why? I, I mean, I agree, like, it's their game, so they don't have to. But if they do, that's, like, a nice gesture. And I think this is why they were uh, trying to ask him. But I think there are multiple reasons for this one. I guess it's because they used that loading screen, that image as like a perk or whatever they used it in Black Ops 6 Zombies for. But well, it's like an image, right? But for Nero, it's like an entire video. And I guess it's because... Uh, it's because they probably have a campaign that they wanted to run where they were probably gonna feature his video uh, uh, probably for a while. When I say for a while, probably like a minute or maybe a little less than that I, I, I different reasons different reasons and different campaigns so i think it's because of that but yeah right but it's still weird it's still weird and then syndicate kind of asked the same thing did they reach out to you about it or because it's their assets they just used it ggs uh, they didn't reach out but they own the rights to everything made with their mod tools so they didn't really need to i think it's really cool regardless that does just back up the fact that they've got someone internally going yeah we need a loading screen goes to google grabs image and saying yeah that'll do without even realizing it's not theirs regardless Damn. well played mates and sean says haha yeah that's probably more than likely the case i'm gonna take it as a compliment simply like ubisoft situation with activision right yeah uh, or not activision i mean assassin's creed ubisoft assassin's creed though and before activision realize and replace it but wait there's more and i'm sure you guys heard about uh -oh. this one this one was making the round several months ago and i'll keep it brief here and just show you the article here did call of duty steal youtubers brandon herrera custom gun design arena writes brandon herrera a well-known youtuber and firearm expert has claimed that the creators of call of duty modern warfare 3 used his custom designed firearm the ak-50 in the season 5 of their latest game without his permission Bruh. and if you want to read this as well it says Bruh. points out the similarities between his ak-50 and the jack cataclysm featured in COD Modern Warfare 3 Season 5. It's not just similar, Herrera states, it's a direct recreation of the AK-50 that I built. They've changed the name to Jack Cataclysm, but the design, look, and portrayal in the game are nearly identical to my creation. He goes on to compare the in-game weapon with his real-life AK-50, emphasizing the features that make his design unique and showing how these elements have been replicated in the Jack Cataclysm. Mm. But wait, there's more, which makes this not make any sense whatsoever. So, Activision does not like negative press at all. And this yeah, is something yeah, that's yeah. been constant with them. So I can't find the tweet exactly. However, this is on record and I have many people that can back this up. Uh, Charlie Intel or the guy that runs it could not attend Activision Call of Duty events for a while. Yeah, I, I, 
I talked about it earlier in this video and in previous videos too. That is true. That is true. So whatever he's about to say probably is true. Yeah, Charlie until uh used to always be uh he 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 would always get invited out by them, and then he once mentioned that I'm not being invited out. And that came around the same time as him being critical. I wouldn't say a negative, he was not being negative, he was just covering the news and being a little bit critical. I mean, come on now, man. What the hell, bro? What the hell? Right? You, it, it, bro, like, sometimes, brother, don't want to suck your BBCs, guys. Like, come on, chill. <laughs> chill, damn it. But he stopped sucking their BBCs, and they're like, we're going to stop inviting you out. No diddy. And, and then he probably was like, please, 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 please. <laughs> and then he was put on the diddy list once again. And now he's being invited out. Wow, because they deemed his stuff too negative on mm, Twitter. Yep. I'm not making yep. that up. That they banned him from Call of Duty events because he was too critical of the franchise. Scump, I'm sure you guys remember this. I don't think this is the only time it's happened, but Scump he got fine, fined huh? pretty much repeatedly yeah. every single time he spoke out about Call of Duty being bad. He called Modern Warfare 2019 the worst COD of all time and got fined. And I'm, again, I'm sure this is not the only time this has happened. So knowing all of this stuff, guys, knowing all this stuff, why in the fuck? Someone please answer me. Logically, why in the fuck would they contact someone like Nero? who is kind of mm. in the outsider sphere, who is not associated with Activision. Why are they watching his content like that? And then- They're trying to put him on the diddy list, man. I'm telling y'all. Offering him this deal when they've shown before, they don't really ask. That's not a conspiracy theory. Those two instances happened within the past three months. They don't Suspect. ask and they just use, man. Now, granted, they have gotten busted before for copyright for like stealing maps, essentially. That happened uh, with two maps, I think it was. In Modern Warfare 2, they had to get the actual rights for it because they kind of just took a picture of a location and put it in the game without permission. But for the most- There were also like a couple of bundles, right? They 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 apparently copied from another game or uh, uh, people's art and then they took it down, right? Uh, they removed it and changed it, I guess, like, I, I don't know what happened, but you, you remember that, right? They made, like, a couple, uh, couple of bundles, and, and it was, and they were caught. Uh, and even the, the homie from WWE, Booker T, Booker T, right? You remember that? Oh, you remember? I bl I, that was all the way back in Black Ops 4. Booker T sued them, but I believe he lost the case. Could be wrong, could be wrong. Maybe he won. Uh, but yeah, uh, but I do remember there were, there were controversy about, uh, with him too, right? where he said that, where he claimed that Activision stole his likeness. But even after that, I believe in Modern Warfare 2022, my memory is foggier than Snoop Dogg's bathroom, but one thing I know for certain is that they did copy some aspects uh, in terms of like their bundles. They copied some something off of somebody and put it in, the, in their bundles and sold it for like $20, $30, and they got in trouble for that too, so. Most part, if it's their assets, they don't ask. And in some cases, they just will take an idea and not ask because they have incredible lawyers. Like these guys are a trillion dollar company. Yeah, they yeah, do yeah. not have to ask a YouTuber to use like a snippet of their video, especially yeah, in a, yeah. a transformative work. I mean, we don't even do that as YouTubers. We kind of just use facts. other people's stuff willy nilly. It's oh, fat, 100%. Yeah, same here, right? Like we're just uh, covering the news. Uh, uh, he's putting his input in, I'm putting my input, and it's uh, beautiful like that. And everybody's credited as well, right? Shout out to the homie Blame Truth as well. So this is how the community works, right? Like, this is how the news gets shared, right? Stuff gets shared on Twitter, Reddit, and uh, yeah, you use that as a source. You credit, of course, you t say like where it's coming from and all that uh, in general. Uh, and and I would say this, right? Like, it's Activision games. Yeah, for example, like if they were, if they wanted to use like clips or assets, without asking for it i mean it, to me it don't matter maybe to you it's it matters and hey that's your opinion i respect that but to me i'm like hey it's their game so they want to do it they want to do it right i i get that part but, but 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 what's odd here is that sometimes they don't ask permission other times they ask for permission like a, like i said it's probably because of nero's video video is different than uh you know like uh map uh, somebody would make or a loading screen image somebody would make it's different it's like two different things and one you you have a video you got Nero's voice he's talking he's communicating either he's saying good or bad that's like different thing but he's talking about it so they know it's somebody's uh voice essentially a human's voice so in, in that aspect may, maybe this is a reason why they were asking but it's still a little uh, suspect needless to say though so fine as long as it's transformative and you're providing like a commentary on it so again th this begs the question why are they reaching out to this guy asking permission asking all these personal details 
sending him this legally binding contract, it makes no sense. Mm. Thankfully, Nero did not sign the contract, and he oh, says thankfully. he wants nothing to do with it, and he's just going to ignore it. And I definitely think he made the right call. Now, maybe you think we are being paranoid. Maybe you think that, you know, this is just way out of line, crazy talk, whatever, and you're still not buying this. Go to Google right now and type in Activision controversies, and the, the list is, I mean, it's a laundry list of just stuff that yeah. they've done that's been shady over the years. I personally want nothing to do with the company. Anyone that does have anything to do with the company, I would be very careful. And I'm not kidding with that. Uh, it's it's that bad. It's that bad. But let's just take all of that out of the picture even. Let's let's take the moral parts out of the picture. Uh, this is a factual thing. And I'm going to show you a DM to prove it. It's pretty common knowledge among uh -oh. all of the people that are, you know, uh, in, in the good graces of Activision. It's pretty common knowledge that if they associate with me, they are pretty much blacklisted. Uh, and I'm not making that up. I wish I was making that up, but anyone that associates with me isn't in Activision's good graces. I wonder why. I wonder why, you know? Uh, what's interesting about this is that Nero is a good friend of mine, and it's very, very clear that we are, you know, kind of in that same ballpark of creators that we are friends. That Nero would be like, he's not my friend. Invite me up. <laughs> Invite me up. Nah, I, honestly, the homie Nero is like, hey, I don't even want to be invited out. Respect. Respect on that. Respect on that, man. Damn. Do nah, man. This Activision Circle thing is crazy. Honestly, it, it is. Uh, it is crazy. I, I also do believe it's a little bit of paranoia as well. But of course, the controversies part and the stuff that is being uh, reported is true. It is true. The controversies are real. But based off of just uh, them asking for Nero's permission, getting their address, their name, I think that's a little paranoia. A little bit paranoia. But. I understand and I absolutely agree if you don't want to, uh, I, I respect your decision of not signing though. Yeah. That we, yeah. we do interact with each other. I, there's there's just no reason Activision should ever contact this dude unless it's something nefarious. Just recently I had a DM with a content creator, a Call of Duty content creator who is in Activision's good graces. And I'll show you this just to show you what I'm talking about. If you think I'm lying, if you think you're not that crazy, no. They, they have someone like watching my shit all the time that tries to copyright strike me if I even so much as sneeze a, a leak out that I shouldn't have out, you know, before like a game comes out. They'll, they'll look for anything just to make my life help, basically. I've had to deal with them copyright striking me a few times over the years. But just check this out. This is a real DM. I'm the one on the right. This person says, Wednesday next week. And I say, that works. I'm not going to get you. That I'm not going to get you blacklisted by Activision, am I, Lamar? If they can't handle me having someone on, then so be it. Oh, crap. You blacklisted by Activision, am I? Laughing my ass off. This person says, if they can't handle me having someone on, then so be it. So... <laughs> With that said, guys, uh, I think Nero dodged a bullet. Let me know what you think below. Uh, eh, eh, eh. Uh, if they can handle me having someone on, then so be. Yo! Oh, shit! Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, I don't want to name drop. I don't want to name drop, but I think I know who it is. I don't want to name drop, though. I mean, because, like, I don't want them getting blacklisted, though. I'll just say the homie Blame Truth's done a podcast recently, right? Mm. I'm assuming that based off of what happened and what is being said here, having someone on, yo, that's crazy. But guys, recently we had the Nick Marks, Dr. Disrespect, Swag drama being put on the Diddy List live on stream. Check out this video on the screen and I'll see you right there. Insane drama, man. Insane. Check it out and I'll see you there.